I'm John with Unfolding Life Together, and I want to tell you about grace. Grace is that you get what you don't deserve, and you don't get what you really deserve. And that's how it is with God. God is perfection. God does everything right. And I think of it like this. He doesn't need us. He doesn't, you know, in the sense, really need anything from us, but he wants us and he loves you. And that's the difference. And my favorite story is the story of Corey Ten Boom. And she was a Dutch watchmaker with her dad and her family in Harlem, Holland in the Netherlands, which is about 20 minutes north of Amsterdam. And it's a beautiful place. If you're ever over there, please go there. You can also watch a virtual tour, of course. And she, for the rest of her life, uh, her whole life, her entire life, I believe gave her life for Jesus. And she hid, uh, you know, Jewish people in her house, uh, protecting them, okay? And that is absolutely amazing, okay? And that obviously is my family too, it's tough. And so you could see that the, really the love of God keeping us safe. And, uh, and, and so I wanna say this, you know, she showed love to even the people that betrayed her. Actually, she gave a Bible to the, the person who really uh, ratted on the place and, and said, hey, this is what's gonna, you know, and uh, you know, before he was executed, of course. And, uh, and then the other guy, uh, which, which in the camp where she was in, she so lovingly just told him about Jesus. And I think it was a time where she was being beaten by them. And versus her like, you know, coming back and, and attacking him, she handed back his club. And uh, I'm just telling you, the love of God, I mean, it just makes me cry. I love the whole story of Corey Tembu, and I could talk about it for like hours, okay, on here, but I only have so much time. But I just wanna sum it up like this for you guys, that no matter what you've done, no matter what is it happened in your life, you're never too far from Jesus. He came for you and he loves you and he's no respecter of persons. He came for everybody and he loves you and he is the whole of love. If I could sum Jesus in one other word is love. Okay, his name means he will save, Yeshua means he will save. And I love that because it's unconditional love, meaning you can come to him, he'll never turn his back on you. He's never like, man, you did that again. Didn't I tell you that? It's like, I even told you don't do it and you still did it. He's not like that. That's how humans are. You know, we're very, you know, like that. But Jesus came to give you life and life more abundantly. So I want to pray with you and seriously have an open heart. Don't have any preconceived notions. Don't say, well, that's this. You know, Jesus himself was Jewish, okay? He fulfilled the law at every point. You know, you read Isaiah and, you, and we know what that says and we know what all this. And I think of it like this, Jesus is the entire completion of everything, okay? So what you're looking for is summed up in Jesus. And all the stuff that you can't do, you can't do the law perfectly. You can't even do anything hardly perfectly, right? I mean, like, I, I'll just raise my hand right there, you know? I need him. I need him in my life. I can't do this thing by myself. And that's what you have to realize. You know, you can't put your your hope in success or accomplishments or, you know, running businesses or making lots of money or whatever, okay? You can't do that because it's such short-lived. And that's not real life. Real life is enjoying life and actually showing love to people and you can't do that 100% unless you have love himself on the inside of you. So right now, I wanna pray with you and this is your time. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till everything's all perfect because this is your time right now. I mean, this is, I mean, tomorrow, I'm gonna to just say it like how he said, it. this is what Jesus says, not to scare you, but tomorrow's not promised to anybody. Nobody has that promise, no matter who you are. <laughs> okay, so I would do it now. Okay, and I have done it, and my whole family has done it, and it's been the greatest choice of my life, and it's your choice right now. So if you'd like, please, just say this after me. Just say, Jesus. Come on, you can do it. If you want to do it, this is your time, okay? Why wait, you know? Just do it right now so you can have the rest of your life to enjoy it, all right? So just say this, all right? We'll say it together. Just say this. Say, Jesus, I ask that you come into my heart. I ask that you fill me with your Holy Spirit. 
I ask that you heal me and set me free. And I want a personal relationship with you now and forever in Jesus name. Now you see grace and can show grace and know that God is for you. He absolutely loves you and he wants to have the best life with you.